welcome to another edition of You News, where you get You News. Our top story tonight is about Joe Biden, who released an executive order about crypto regulations earlier this week. Despite fears of a major crackdown, the executive order seemed fairly neutral, with a focus on calling the SEC to enact harsher punishment on rugging. Rumor has it, Biden's sudden favorable turn towards crypto trading is because he heard people were using gas for it. Hey millennials, hold on to your nostalgia. LimeWire is relaunching as an NFT distribution site for music. We know you just can't wait to spend all night confirming this blockchain transaction, only to find that the song has been rickrolled. Over in legal troubles, a class action lawsuit has been filed against several influencers, including Jake Paul, a YouTuber who allegedly earned over $2 million promoting pump and dump crypto schemes last year. The case shouldn't go very far in court, though, because at least one of those tokens he promoted is absolutely not a pump and dump scheme. They're a tech company. Our last story tonight comes from the other side of the world. In support of Ukraine, many companies have elected to stop all services in Russia as a cross between supporting sanctions and some kind of woke virtue signaling bandwagon tactic. These companies stopping service in Russia include Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, Coca-Cola, and even McDonald's. I'm sure these sanctions will stop the war immediately with Putin by cutting him off from his favorite wartime sustenance, the Happy Meal. That's all for this week's edition of You News, where you get useless news. I'm Tupac's of course, and up next is Sunday at Fernie's.